So many of us are trying to be good enough today to please God, but we're going to talk about how works is not what pleases God, it's faith. That's right. We're going to get into it. Ready? Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. We wake Up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Kelly. And if you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We'd like to read that on Wednesdays. Yes. And you look amazing today. Look oh at them. Oh my gosh. Check them out. So amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Great hairdo today. Oh my gosh. We're going to be in Romans chapter 4 and verse. Somebody said that about my hair. I know. They like my hair better. I know. They... It looks the same to me. <laughs> it's not the same. Eight months ago, you didn't have any hair and now you do. I had some hair. <laughs> Romans chapter 4 and verse 1. What then shall we say that Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh, discovered in this matter? So he's trying to look at Abraham as an example of our life. If, in fact, Abraham was justified by works, he had something to boast about, but not before God. What does Scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was, was credited, credited to him as righteousness. Now, to the one who has works, wages are not credited as a gift, but as an obligation. Right? If you work a job, and you work your hours, and you get paid, that's a wage. Yep. That's not a gift. You're right. So he's, say, he's talking about when you try and earn your way to God, you're asking for a wage, but to the one who does not work, but trusts God, who justifies the ungodly. We talked about that yesterday, or, uh, yeah, yeah uh, no, Friday, that we're justified. God justifies the ungodly. So when you're ungodly and you feel like a sinner, that's good news. Yeah. Because God justifies you. Yeah. Their faith is credited as righteousness. So how are you righteous? By faith in Jesus. By faith. It's a Amen. Free gift. Think about when um, we were at this uh, beautiful restaurant, okay? Mm -hmm. And we had this amazing meal. Um, in fact, I think it went, might have even been like our anniversary or something. Yeah, I remember this. It was now. at Roaring Fork. Yeah, Roaring Fork. And um, the green chili. We had, I mean, we ate everything that night. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we, when we go to fancy restaurants, sometimes we, we we'll share, split. we'll split a meal. We'll get an appetizer. And this split time, a meal. you got a meal, I got a meal, we got. We appetizers we we we, we went we went we didn't skip we were both we went there hungry yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i remember sitting there and we're like when is our wait waiter gonna come and yeah, give where's us our bill the check um and you know like it got to a point where you're just like okay like where's the check coming and when they finally came around you're like hey i need to pay we're gonna get on to the next thing that we're doing here and he goes oh i'm so sorry your your check has been paid in full and we were like, no way. Like, who? Who paid for it, you know? There, he there happened. Tell us. Yeah, he wouldn't tell us who paid. But anyways. Somebody had happened by what, paid when it had, It would have been weird if we would have said, you know, well, we don't accept that. Yeah, no. Nobody paid our bill. You can't. It would they, be weird if I we would have rejected believe that. You. I don't believe you. Right. Right. We didn't earn it. No, we, we celebrated right away. I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, somebody bought our but anniversary how dinner. Often it was a big bill too. Do we like, receive geez. the free gift of righteousness that comes which from is, Father God? Which is better than having your dinner bill paid. It's having all of your sins paid for. Right? It's having it's 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 gaining you access to what righteousness gains you access to, which is what? The blessing given Abraham. What was the blessing given Abraham? I'm gonna bless you. I'm going to make your name great. You're going to be a blessing. All peoples will be blessed through you. It was about legacy. It was about God's hand on you in, in every way. And, and Abraham really was blessed. Everywhere he went, <clears throat> whether he went to Egypt or whether he went to the promised land, God was with him and he was blessed. Amen. And this is for you. And it's not because of how you live. It's because of how you believe. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, that doesn't make sense, but really it does because how you believe will eventually impact how you live, but how you live does not impact what you believe. So so God flips it on us so that you can believe the right way. Because why? Because it's by faith that we achieve the righteousness that comes by faith in Christ. And, and so it's not a work, is it? Mm -mm. But so often we get stuck in works. Yes, we do. Trying to earn, trying to be good enough. Right. It's never enough. Right. You're always going to feel short, fall short of the glory of God. You're always going to feel like you, you didn't do enough or some Satan brings up your past again. You ever get in a worship service 
and you're and you're trying to sing to God, but Satan keeps reminding you of the things that you failed, and tries to bring you shame, and he's in your ear telling you you're not enough, you you're such a fake, you're a hypocrite. Don't listen to his lies. He's mm-hmm. trying to disqualify you from the good things that God mm-hmm. wants to bring you in your life. Amen. You are forgiven. You are redeemed. You are called. You are anointed. You are justified. You are glorified, be- not because you are good enough, but because Christ, Christ was good enough, enough on your you. behalf. Yes. Amen. Amen. Should Amen. Pray? Yeah. Did you receive something today? Amen. Partner with us. Help us reach more people with this kind of message. And uh, let's pray. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for these people that we would begin to see ourselves the way you see us, Lord. Not broken, not ashamed, not guilty, not condemned, but Father God, that we are righteous, that before you we have been declared holy, and we are called, we are anointed, we are justified, and we are glorified. And we thank you and praise you because it's a gift, not by our own works, but by our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Dad J- Dad, 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 joke. I said it wrong. Dad Jake. <laughs> Dead Jake's. It's Dead Jake's uh, <laughs> Monday. Okay. Dead Joke Monday. Okay. Whenever I put my car in reverse, I think, man, this takes me back. <laughs> I want to do the next one. Okay. <laughs> I wrote a song about a tortilla. It was more of a rap. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed up all night wondering where the sun went, and then it dawned on me. Oh, my gosh. You can do the last <laughs> one. The other day, I was attacked by a bunch of circus clowns in a parking lot. I won, though, because I went right for the juggler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I went for the juggler. Get it? Because he's a juggler. Oh my gosh. Stop <laughs> explaining the jokes. He's juggling, but he's the juggler, you know, the throat. Watch this clip. Rahab was a prostitute, and God says, I want that in the lineage of Jesus Christ. I'm going to use her to save the spies of Israel. I'm going to have them take a hike, and the hike is going to bring the walls of Jericho down. I'll use a tiny little rock, and it'll take down a giant. He says, I will use the little things. I'll take Joseph the slave, and I will make him ruler over Egypt. Come on, somebody out there. Don't ever think that your life is insignificant and small, and God could never use you. He uses a staff to part the Red Sea, to have water come out of a rock. Everything throughout the Bible, you'll find that God has always used us. Even Jesus came out of a little town called Bethlehem. He loves little. He loves small. Why? Because it confounds the wise. It is a cross that saves all humanity. God uses the littlest things to make the biggest difference. Don't let the devil lie to you and say that you're insignificant, that you don't matter, and that you're too small, and your life is small. What I want you to do is anytime you hear that voice go, ooh, that's exciting, because the smaller my life is, the bigger God wants to do in my life, the bigger things that he wants to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Be in church this weekend, wherever your church is. We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.